Hey guys, it's Tracy Latona with Golden Rose Financial Coaching. I am at the vet with Mr. Banjo Bear Bassett Hounds. And I just wanted to share with you an experience I just had. So I'm leading FPU at my church. And the lesson that we just went over was buyer beware, where they teach us about negotiating. Mr. Banjo has chronic ear infections, bless his heart. And he's got one that he's been battling and the two week leave in treatment isn't cutting it. So this newer vet that saw him today is like, Hey, let's do an oral antibiotic. It's going to be $78 for two weeks supply. And I'm thinking, Holy crap. Antibiotics are not that expensive. So I asked if there was a generic and the vet's like, no, based on the bacteria that he's got, you know, this is the antibiotic that we really, really should get. And I'm like, okay. Um, is there anything else, you know, that we could do to bring the price down? No, I'm sorry. This is, this is, this is the antibiotic that you need. There's not a generic. There's like, this is it. Nothing else. Eh, I'm not okay with that answer. That's not good enough. So I asked if I would just be able to get the same antibiotic two week supply from Chewy. They're like, yeah, you know, just, you know, let Chewy know that you need it. They'll send over the approval process, we'll sign it, good to go. $32 for the same thing, same milligram, same two week supply, $78 at the vet, $32 at Chewy. Guys, ask questions, think outside the box, you will save tons of money. I saved over 50% of the cost of this stinking antibiotic for the same thing by going to a different provider went through Chewy instead of my vet. So Chewy is not paying me to say this. The reason I'm saying this is because there are ways out there to save money, especially when it comes to medication. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.